So this week, double bubble, twice the value, with two reviews of two very different, but also very similar Brit flicks, um, a favourite genre of mine, um, both supposedly based on true events. Firstly, the, the Bank of Dave. Now, Dave of the Bank of Dave uh, is a successful and philanthropic Burnley car dealer who, who decides to turn his sideline of helping friends and local businesses with loans or gifts in, into a proper old-fashioned local bank. The, the film set just after the, the banking crash when the big banks had a very bad reputation uh, and he sets out to, to fight the regulator and the, the poshos in the establishment banks who don't want some cocky Nordner upsetting their apple cards. The London lawyer that he hires to help him comes to Burnley and, and finds that life there and the romance he finds there are actually rather lovely. Um, the whole thing makes more sense when you find that it's made by the, the same team that put together Fisherman's Friends. Um, if you've seen that, the first one's great, don't bother with the second. It's just as much fun, just without the sea shanties. Now, the other film this week is The Lost King, and this tells the, the also true story of um, Philippa Langley, who's played by Sally Hawkins, who's always brilliant. And she was an Edinburgh ex-wife, separated and, and mother, um, who becomes weirdly obsessed with, with King Richard III. Uh, she travels to Leicester, she has a vision of where she thinks he might have been buried, and she, with great doggedness and determination, organises the, the dig um, with archaeologists from the university to, to find him. Now, conflict again with the poshos uh, as the university tries, once they do actually find Richard III, which if you remember they did a few years ago, uh, the university tries to take all the credit and sideline Philippa. Now, the, the stories of both Bank of Dave and, and The Lost King are as eccentric as you could hope from a Brit flick and, cliche alert here, are ultimately really heartwarming. Not a hint of sex or drugs or rock and roll and I had a lovely time watching them both. To quote another film critic, they really would go down nicely with a cup of tea and a biscuit, Mrs.